good morning everyone it's a bright Saturday morning and yes this is deja vu all over again this looks familiar it should a week ago this Saturday I was driving this same drive taking my truck to get an oil change if you watched my video you know I was uh, unsuccessful because the dealer was closed well today's a week later it's Saturday April uh, 11th 2020 and once again I am driving to Kraus Toyota to get the oil changed in this truck uh, I did talk to a live person and uh, they are open for business I guess it had been a temporary shutdown um, I don't know the, the details on it it doesn't really matter um, anyway you can see this Saturday is quite a bit sunnier than last Saturday Pennsylvania's weather has been absolutely schizophrenic. I mean, we had beautiful spring-like weather during the week. Then we had a couple days that were just dark and gloomy and rainy. It did get into the 70s, but with that came a very wicked thunderstorm that woke me up in the middle of the night, one of the nights. Uh, we've had howling winds. We've had a cold front move through yesterday and today are back to winter temperatures and sustained winds with heavy gusts. I even saw a snow flurry yesterday and I got a text from my sister saying they were having an absolute snow squall where she lives, which is not that far away. So it's, um, it's been an adventure. It's been a lot of ups and downs. I'll admit the early part of the week was extremely frustrating for me. Uh, I seem to be going through the spell. We're getting even the basic stuff that should be available and should be open and doable. Um, have not been able to get done, have not been able to be obtained. That all started with last Saturday's uh, failure <laughs> to get my truck's oil changed, and it just it continued into the week. And um, I'll spare you all the details, but uh, I had a lawnmower that wouldn't run. I, I had trouble getting batteries, uh, I've had trouble finding some stuff at local grocery stores. I've gotten most of it resolved. Um, it's just been an emotional roller coaster. I mean, I think I've been holding up about as good as one can during this epidemic. I mean, I have my health, I have my job. Um, of course, I have a lot of the same fear and uncertainty as everybody else does right now. And I've had some moments of pure elation where I, I get out on the trails, I get out in nature, and I, I actually can forget about all this, even if it's just for a couple minutes or an hour. Uh, it's been very therapeutic. Um, I haven't been out since Monday, uh, just because of the weather. And um, hopefully, it's not looking good for getting out today just because of the winds, but tomorrow is supposed to be pretty nice again. We should be back to Pennsylvania spring weather somewhere around 60. Anyway, we'll continue on. Um, the state of Pennsylvania itself has, uh, you know, like most places, they keep clamping down a little bit more and a little bit more on things. Um, They've now announced that schools are closed for the remainder of the school year. That doesn't affect me at all. Um, I don't have kids. I'm not a teacher. Um, I personally am starting a class next week as a student, but it's an online class. It was always intended to be an online class. Uh, I'll be starting on Tuesday. It's going to be a, a Adobe Photoshop Um and you guys know my, my creative tendencies. It's, it's almost criminal that I don't know that program. So that's something I'm going to be uh, working on this coming week. Um, and that's something that's been planned long before the pandemic. I made a commitment at the beginning of the year. I wanted to learn Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign in that order. Um, I'll be taking the InDesign class after Photoshop which will be, um, I think that class runs July to September, somewhere in that time frame. Photoshop runs from April to June. 
this was all planned ahead of time and like I said it's online so it's kind of weird in some ways so much has changed in life yet my lifestyle believe it or not actually lends itself very well to this uh, you know stay at home kind of thing I mean I do spend most of my life either behind a computer a tablet or as you see here steering wheel of my truck none of that's really changed I mean it's a little bit more time on the computer and a little bit less time on the steering wheel and um, you know things things go on um, there's a group a local WordPress meetup group that I'm an active member of I've kind of taken a little bit of time away from the group but uh, I'm trying to get back into it now that I do have a little more time uh, we had, on Thursday night, we had our monthly meeting over Zoom, and it went really well. We had about two dozen people, uh, there was a great presentation, and then we had some time just to chat, and, um, you know, I loved it. I, uh, you know, it, it's an upbeat group, it's a fun group of people, a very knowledgeable group of people, and, you know, to spend about two hours online hanging out, I mean, it's not quite as good as the real thing in person, but you know, it was good enough. It lifted my spirits, uh, made me feel reconnected, learned some stuff, which is always good. And, um, you know, so that's going well. Um, yesterday was a day off for me. Uh, my company, we do get good, we do get good Friday as a holiday. Uh, paid holiday, which is really nice. Um, I know a lot of companies don't give that holiday. Conversely, there's a lot of holidays other people get that we don't, but um, nonetheless, I was very grateful for a day off. Psychologically, I just needed it. So, you know, that Thursday night Zoom meeting with the WordPress group, that really, you know, put my spirits back into high gear. And, um, I stayed home yesterday 100% because, uh, actually that's not true, I grocery shopped first thing in the morning, um, absolutely necessary, I was running out of a lot of stuff, I got everything I needed except for hand sanitizer and soap, a um, little worried about that, I mean I have enough to get through a couple more weeks, but I might run into trouble beyond that, see how that goes, um, but then, you know, I was back back home. I, I do normally don't go out that early. I wanted to hit the store first thing, and I did, and I was back home by, I think, 7 in the morning. Um, amazingly, I found toilet paper. Um, it's a, a six-pack of rolls. Uh, I was shocked to even see any. There weren't that many. They were probably sold out by the time I got home, but um, that, was, uh, that was my first victory yesterday. Here today, um, I'll get back to yesterday, but this week you're getting a lot better look at the Allentown skyline. That tall, the tallest building you see on the right hand side, that's the PPL building, that's uh, our local electric company's headquarters. Now that Martin Tower's been demolished, the PPL building is once again the tallest building in the Lehigh Valley. And then if you continued on MacArthur Road, all the way at the top of that hill, that brick building on the left, that's where I work. Although I haven't been there for close to a month because I've been working from home. And across the street from that building is the arena where the Lehigh Valley Phantoms play. Uh, we would actually be getting to the end of the hockey season here. Uh, that, you know, play of course is on hold indefinitely. I strongly suspect that the season's going to be outright canceled, um, and I was talking to a friend who's involved with the, uh, running the Phantoms fan club, I was talking to him the other day to see if he had any inside knowledge, um, he didn't, I mean, nobody knows, but, you know, his feeling is they're just waiting to see what the NHL does, um, the AHL, the American Hockey League, that's the minor league teams that play under the NHL teams, um, so whatever NHL does, AHL tends to do, and so far there's been no decision from the NHL. Um, likewise, we don't know what's happening with the Iron Pigs yet, but most likely um, they're going to follow the lead of Major League Baseball. The Iron Pigs, if you don't know, they're the uh, AAA affiliate of the Philadelphia Phillies. 
They play locally in Allentown at uh, Coca-Cola Park, which is across the river from the downtown. Um, so enough about that. Um, getting back to uh, yesterday. Good news, I am finally making good on my threat to get some of my backlog of videos edited. Um, and they're going to be more fun ones. I know a lot of my videos lately have been me in this truck on the way to a necessary errand, uh, driving through areas that are not as pretty as I normally take you through. Um, that's because the only driving I've done has been for essential business. Um, and I know it has, uh, you know, it's not as exciting, it's not as upbeat, but um, I have a lot of footage, as I've mentioned before, I've got enough, I, I tallied it up yesterday, I could probably edit a dozen, actually I'm sorry, two dozen videos, at least, that you haven't seen yet. Yesterday I edited five videos, um, that's a lot, I don't know that I've ever edited five in a day. Uh, and some of these are, you know, the 10 to 20 minute videos either. These are not the short little, you know, minute long ones off the iPhone. I did post two yesterday. They were two aircraft coming and going from Lehigh Valley International. They were at night. Not the best footage, I know, but they had actually, believe it or not, been edited during the Christmas holiday break. Uh, they've been kind of sitting at the bottom of the heap, you know, I, I try to keep some stuff in inventory in case I have a busy week or two and can't do something new. I like to hold, you know, one or two back that I can at least put something up for this channel. Well, those two aircraft videos, they've been languishing for too long. Um, thank you if you watched them. I forgive you if you didn't. They weren't that good. I just wanted to clear the slate. Um... So now I have five new videos in the queue. Um, I still got two videos from my trip to Jim Thorpe in February. One is just a scenic drive on the way to Jim Thorpe. Uh, it's actually still in the Lehigh Valley. It's from um, Cementon to Lehigh Gap on a road that I haven't taken you on before. And the other is another drive in Jim Thorpe. I drove from the state park through the downtown and then wound up these crazy back roads on a mountain up to um, the free 100 mile view that you see signs for everywhere out there. And um, the end of that drive is pretty cool. It ends up on some dirt roads with some switchbacks. That was a fun drive. So I've got those two in the queue. You will probably see those two next after this one, of course. I'm going to try to post this one this evening. I don't want to hold it back. So you'll probably see two Jim Thorpe videos spaced out over the next week. And then the other three that I have edited, um, I also made good on my um, idea that I came up with on, on last Saturday's drive to put the GoPro on the bicycle and do some riding. I had a wonderful, wonderful ride Monday. I rode 6.3 miles. I was hurting pretty good after it because a lot of it, there was a headwind. A lot of it was uphill, uh, including some parts I just had to give up and walk the bike. Um, but it was, you know, it was just one of those perfect spring days. And I um, was just really able to live in the moment and enjoy the ride and do a little bit of exploring. And um, you know, forget about the pandemic for a little bit, you know, and I really needed that, and um, the video came out decent, I mean, I haven't used the GoPro very much, it's an older one, you know, there's not, it's not a lot of adjustments or settings you can do with it, it's kind of like this drive cam, you just point it, and, I mean, it's very easy to use, it just runs, but Conversely, I have very little control. Uh, you know, the quality came out all right. I've learned some things. Um, so, so far I've edited uh, three videos uh, just riding with the GoPro. In fact, one of them actually is over a year old. It was something I had done uh, last winter. And uh, I had done it before I knew how to edit anything, and uh, I actually forgot I had it till I started going through my files. 
So there's one trail video from a little over a year ago. There's two from Monday night. So that's five. It's probably going to take me two weeks to dull all of those out. Uh, I like to space them out just to, you know, I like a steady flow of videos to keep this channel active. Um, and then I'm editing, I started editing a sixth video this morning. Um, I woke up way too early. I woke up around, um, I guess it was about 5.30 and I don't know what it was, but my cats were rambunctious. They wanted their breakfast. They wanted it now. They did not want to let me go back to sleep. I'm not an early bird, but uh, I finally caved in and, um, of course gave them their breakfast. I am their servant. Um, but after that, I said, this, this week's appointment isn't until 10 o'clock, so I had a little bit more time today than I did last Saturday. I came pretty close to finishing a sixth video. This one's a little bit more complicated of an edit. This is the one that I talked about on my second drive last Saturday. Uh, if you happen to see that video, it's labeled, um, I think it's just a Saturday Drive Part 2. I'll, I'll put uh, a link to it at the top of this video. I had gone to explore Clear Spring Pond. And, um, you know, it was, it was a really cloudy, dreary day. And it was the first time I'd ever seen the pond up close. It was, it was beautiful despite the, you know, dreary day. And I said, uh, you know, I'd like to come back with the bike and the GoPro. So I did. Um, so I'm making a, you know, a little more involved video out of that one that, uh, it mixes in a little bit of old footage with Monday's ride. Uh, I think that's going to be one of my better videos. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be finishing that one probably, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do something for lunch after my appointment here. I will edit that video. Uh, I should have that one probably done over lunch break. And I'm just going to keep going. I am going to spend the rest of today editing. Like I said, there's at least uh, a dozen and a half more that I can make without leaving the house or breaking a sweat. Um, and I still have some ideas for some new ones that I can film at home if needed. So I'll tell you, if there's one thing in life, I do not run out of ideas. Uh, for every idea I execute, I usually come up with like a dozen more. So... There's no shortage of ideas here. So, lots coming. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm getting pretty close to the Toyota dealer here. Really hoping that they're really open this time. Uh, I have a better feeling about it than I did last weekend. Like I said, last weekend I was getting some conflicting information this weekend. I had talked to somebody during the week and... Um, Everything online does seem to indicate them being open. Ooh, I still see the Toyota Supra. Hopefully you got to see my Toyota Supra video. I mean, it seemed like I made a trip all the way out here for nothing, and that would have been the case. But man, seeing that Toyota Supra, that made my day. Um, that is now on my list of dream cars. Will I ever own one? Probably not. Um, mainly because of the price tag. It's just, uh, it's completely out of reach, but, uh, even if it was within reach, I think there's other things, uh, I'd still rather do, but, um, anyway, there it is, straight ahead, and, um, I'll get a better look at it, so it's a little overcast today, but I'll go take a look at it while I work on my truck, but anyway... Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for some better videos coming soon. Have a good weekend.